Well, I hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, I'm in the studio. Pretty obvious. My big shears, my big snippers. Every little jewelry shop should have a little snippers like that. I just love them. Okay, um, what am I working on today, you guys? I, uh, I made an ingot in the back there on that ingot bench there. And I rolled it out. And I didn't film any of it because I'm it's still under the weather. I'm still not feeling 100%, but I'm making parts for the buckle. And this is the back of the buckle. So do I have a buckle on here to show you what I'm talking about? This thing here, this part here, right? And then this part here. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're just gonna show the soldering on of those parts onto the buckle. All right, there's the buckle. And we're going to get at it. I think we'll just kind of get at it. We'll do a five, ten minute video of some soldering and uh, things like that. We'll put that away. And so I, I like to have a little bit of ingots. That's how the ingot comes out like that. And then it goes through the rolling mill. That thing there, the rolling mill right there. And then it rolls. I roll it out and then I anneal it so that it becomes workable. Okay. And so let's get right in there. So what I end up with is a piece like, okay, like this here. And it's already bent and, and located in this right position, knowing full well that the belt, the belt has to be one way, right? A man, it wears, a man wears his belt that way. And a woman has a belt the other way, right? So we get that all lined up. So we want that to be, you know, each one is unique, but I like, I like it, you know, to give it the eye there. So I, I'm happy with that. So when the customer looks at it, they go, geez, fuck front. That's nice. Okay. So number seven tip, let's get some heat here, some, uh, flow clean flux. And the nice thing about this flow clean is you notice I put a little bit over here because that's this piece here. That's going to go there next. We'll go through all of that. Okay. That should be enough flux. Okay. Now let's get some silver solder. Let's get a little bit of a longer pickup stick. Can you see that? So I'm just beating that up and I get it into a nice. Huh. Okay. And let's get this warmed right up. Let's get this thing hot. Can you hear the temperature? You hear that flame? Well, you can't hear temperature, Frank. Well, I guess you're right. You can. But you can see and you can... Oh, you can hear temperature. You can hear the amount of energy that's coming out of there. Warm the buckle up nicely. Okay, don't be cheap with the solder. Double check, make sure you're happy. You can always peel it off if you had to. Making sure you're not cooking your hand. And this is cut a certain way, like there's an angle here. So I, I want it leaned towards, there we go. Look at that, well, first time, every time. Okay, so let's get a pair of tweezers. You want it to be right, okay? You want it to, you know, as far as I'm concerned, I, I just love the word perfect. If you think it's perfect and you're a good craftsman, then it's going to be at least damn fucking good for the next person. Okay, so you want, this has got to be kind of symmetrical, right? Remember, you might only see this buckle for a few months, uh, a few weeks for working on it, but the owner of it's going to have it for a lifetime. 
These things are cherished for a lifetime. Ugh. I should have cut some more gold silver up. Uh. Okay, there we go. Get a little flux on there. Okay, so you see that that didn't that didn't take forever but you know the parts i'd already made all the parts for you and lined them all up and everything like that so if i had have fiddled around here and made all the parts and it would have been an hour or two right so uh that's uh a buckle in a nutshell look at the angles on those things right that buckle wants to catch i mean i can always bend these up a little bit if i want if i want but uh that is uh, one beautiful buckle. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Okay, into the uh, pickle. And that's going to go in there for a while. And we're going to sand it, and polish it, and make it look nice. Still got a little bit of things. Okay, anyways, you guys, did you uh, reach out to somebody today? Did you call a pal? Anyways, have a that's soldering. That's how to make a... That's how to make a belt buckle, or at least the fittings for the belt buckle. You're gonna look into my videos and you can see how to make the belt buckle. So I'm gonna maybe do a, a series of videos on maybe a nice big silver belt buckle, a skull or something like that in the new year. I think a lot of things is gonna wait till the new year now. And uh, so reach out to a pal, check on your friends, make sure everybody's okay. This time of the year, people are lonely. They could really use a phone call. Just, it doesn't cost you anything, call them. Call and say, hey, I just was thinking about you. I'll go for lunch. You know, the thought that counts. It really, it's important. Okay, you guys? Um, I had a couple of phone calls this week, and I just was thrilled. I made a couple of phone calls this week, too. I, you know, so I was happy to make them. Okay, if you like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Share. Share it so that the algorithm picks it up. Make a comment. Okay, you guys, be kind to your farm animals. Have a great day. Okay, I've been as sick as a dog for the last week and I have no drive, no ambition. But I tell you what, everything I say will be on the exam. Have a great day, call somebody, reach out. Hey, have a cup of coffee.